Hello guys, I should Kim Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and here I am again with a new video, this time with a video of how to overclock Ryzen 5 2400G, which again, once more, is an APU from AMD. APU consists mostly on CPU plus GPU. If you're interested in seeing like many videos on Ryzen 5 2400G, you can see this video on the analysis, the review, plus seven more games tested, seven games tested, not seven more, seven games tested, and this video with five more games tested, at several resolutions and several graphical settings. Like all my tutorial videos, this is a tutorial and not like a extremely difficult tutorial. <laughs> This is an easy guide for people who want to overclock with a stock cooler, which is Wraith Stealth. I'm using the Wraith Spire, but well, any, any stock cooler, any cooler that costs like 30 bucks can outperform, uh, can outperform the Ryzen, the Ryzen, oh, fuck. Can outperform the Wraith Spire. So, it is quite simple to overclock this way. I will just show you my settings and comment over it to help you guys to overclock it. So just listen to me and all things will be fine. That's it guys, thanks a lot for watching in advance and don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you like the video, if you want me to keep doing more videos uh, because I want to grow and you guys help me a lot by hitting like, subscribing and sharing the video. Thanks one more time and let's now go to the overclocking part. So guys, this this will be now recorded with my my smartphone. So we have several settings, but we need to go to the OC. On the CPU ratio, we usually have the auto, but you can put it at 38, which is a mild overclock, nothing astonishing, but pretty good. So the um, the graphics, I'll leave it at 100, uh, 1,500 megahertz, and uh, the voltage, which is the graphics voltage and CPU. Um, CPU core, NB core, the CPU sock voltage uh, as well. So if you change it, the um, if you change the graphic voltage, you will change the CPU sock voltage as well. As for the RAMs, my RAMs suck. They are J Skill Rip Jaws 4, and they they completely suck. So I have to leave it at 2667. Uh, let's now go to the timings. Timings are simple, like 1, 14, 14, 14, 14, 34. So the RAMs were like uh, 15, CL15, but I put them on CL14 since I've reduced the, the frequency. This Proc ODT setting is very, very important in order to overclock the RAMs. If you are having problems, just use this Proc ODT to 48 or 60 and you will be fine. As for the voltages, my CPU can do the 38, so 3800 MHz with 1.30 volts. So that's the minimum I can get on this motherboard. With 130 I can do it, but for stability reasons, for my consciousness, I just leave it at 1.31, which leaves it at 1.32 volts. The motherboard does that. And the CPU NB voltage is very important as well for RAM overclocking and for CPU stability as well. So I leave it at 1.12.5 volts. The RAM I always I always put it at 1.4 volts and uh, the motherboard will put it at 1.37. On the CPU specifications we have nothing, let's go to the CPU features. I disable all the damn power saving features because they are useless to me. So global state, uh, it usually is enabled but I put it on disabled. Spread sp disable the spread spectrum in order to have a more stable overclock and that's mostly it. Disable all the things about the power saving features. That's mostly it. I don't know what the fuck is this, so I leave it. So again, as you may see, so the the frequency, the voltage of the CPU core, CPU NB, CPU SOC, um, and several other options. Let's now go to the load line calibration. Load line calibration is how the board just you know how the board um, makes the the voltage higher or lower when on load. 
So the Mode 3 on these MSI B350 Tomahawk almost equals the um, the low, the, um, the normal voltage with the load voltage. So imagine I selected 1.32 volts, so the load voltage will be 1.32 volts as well. And that's mostly it. You have several modes, so uh, modes 2 and 1 are more aggressive and the, um, the higher number modes are less aggressive, so less voltage on load. Um, and um, the smaller numbers uh, have more, uh, how should I say it, have more um, voltage on load. Now on settings, let's now go to the advanced and let's now go to the integrated graphics. So I always do this and if you want better, better stability and better um, graphical power, just select the 2 gigabytes. The system will select the 2 gigabytes automatically, but I would advise you to just select it manually um, so you have more memory allocated and that's mostly it, that's, that's the point of it. So let's now go once more, see again the settings. Sorry if I'm talking too much, but I'm trying to explain the best I can. And let's now go to the windows. Now we are on windows. So as you may see, we have the, um, the CPU frequency. You may have it a little higher or a little a uh, little lower, but don't mind of that because that's how the motherboard handles the CPU overclock. And now as for the memory, you uh, we have now 6 gigabytes instead of 8 gigabytes because the graphics card, the Vega 11, Vega 11 is now using 2 gigabytes as VRAM. So that's mostly it guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, thanks a lot for watching, don't uh, forget to keep watching Asian Gameplays, Fabio Pisco and See you in the next video guys, one more time, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video. Any doubts you have, just leave it on the comment section. See you in the next video guys.